in the middle of their pain in the middle of their hurt in the middle of no voice being spoken in the middle of them not understanding what God was doing in their lives could you tell your neighbor they got up and they served God again all oh, with tears in their eyes with pain in their heart I never felt so much pain I never felt so much rejection but I'm not about to let the devil throw me out of something else because of what I've been through I'm on get up and I'm going to worship I'm going to get up and I'm going to do God's will I'm going to get up and I'm going to praise him in the middle of my pain keep praising him because you're going to heal come on keep praising him I didn't think mama was going to die. I didn't think daddy was going to die. Come on, praise him anyway. I didn't think that he was going to leave church. Praise him anyway. I didn't think they was going to lie on me. I didn't think they was going to reject me, stab me, take the church money, make fun of us. I didn't plan on a split. I didn't plan on losing my friends. But I got to get up anyway. And I got to keep worshiping because he made me a promise. I didn't think that boy was going to lie on me. I didn't think that girl was going to lie on me. But I got to get up anyway. He's been too good to me he's never let me down he's never lost a battle I gotta get up and worship oh come on somebody you gotta get up in the middle of your pain you gotta get up in the middle of your trial you gotta get up even when you're bleeding even when you're hurting you gotta get up Go on, baby. Go ahead and praise him. Go on and praise him, honey. Don't you worry about nobody in here. Get up! I'm not about to get kicked out of his presence. I'm not about to lose my position. I'm not about to give up on God. I'm going to get up and I'm going to serve him. I'm going to get up and I'm going to praise him. I'm going to get up and give God glory. The Bible says in Genesis chapter 4, verse 25, that Adam knew his wife again. Adam knew his wife again. Look at your neighbor and say, after all that pain, they were still able to produce. After that struggle, they were still able to bring forth. After that trial, they were still able to give life. Touch three people and tell them when this is all over. Life is coming out of you. Healing is coming out of you. Breakthroughs coming out of you. Power. I gotta hurry. Pass the wind. It said this, and she bare a son, and called his name Seth. Whew. For God said that she said, God hath appointed me another seed instead of Abel who Cain slew. She said, God appointed me another seed. What does the word appointed mean? Preordained, already chosen, already set already agreed upon already scheduled and right on time what God was saying was yeah you made some mistakes and yeah things didn't work out in your favor but I saved the best for last and I'm about to do it again God says, I'm going to visit you again. And watch this. It wasn't through Cain. It wasn't through Abel. But it says, but through Seth, men begin to call on the name of the Lord. Could you tell your neighbor, you didn't lose. He's about to do it again. You didn't fail. He's about to do it again. He's about to anoint you again. He's about to give you power again. How can I feel? He got to Shatabahaya. 
God's about to anoint you again. God's about to baptize you in the Holy Ghost again. God's about to use you in youth group again. God's about to fill you with the Holy Ghost again. God's going to use you in prophecy again. Get your hands up and begin to praise him. I feel the spirit of the Lord about to blow through it here again. I feel the power of the Most High God getting ready to do it again. Come on, all through this house, lay hands on somebody. God's about to do it again. Come on, Pastor, stir up the gift that lies within inside of you. Come on, elders, begin to call on the mighty name of Jesus. Come on, young people, lift your hands, open up your mouth, and look for the power of the Holy Ghost to fall fresh on you. I said, God. 